A uh, simple question. When do my payments on a Chapter 13 begin? Great question, and the simplicity of it, it it's a, such a simple question, but really it's, it goes a lot further beyond that. In Chapter 13, usually what you're, what you're normally doing is setting up a payment plan to pay your creditors. Now some things, like normal living expenses, can go in the plan, like your mortgage. If you're catching up on a mortgage, you may be paying your mortgage payment to the bankruptcy court, and then the court pays it for you, meaning to the trustee, and the trustee cuts that check. Alternatively, you may be paying that payment directly. So there's a lot going on here, so you really got to follow your plan. For example, let's say you, you, when you file bankruptcy, you're behind on your first mortgage, you're stripping off your second mortgage, you are behind on your HOA. So the plan is you're going to pay your mortgage payment going forward through the plan. You're going to pay the mortgage arrearages through the plan. You're going to pay the before you filed HOAs. Anything you were in arrears to the homeowner association, you're going to pay that through the plan. Your car you're going to pay direct and your future HOA payments you're going to pay direct. Meaning that each month you're going to have to cut checks to them, but all the rest of the stuff going through the plan, that's just one money order to the bankruptcy court. So again, it's kind of a shell game. Each case is different. So those payments may be made immediately. In other words, let's say for example, you're filing Chapter 13 and your car payment, you file today on October 4th and your car payment's due on October 5th. I tell you make that car payment because you're paying it direct and you don't want to fall behind post filing. So I tell you next tomorrow you got to pay that car payment. But what about the house payment? Well the house payment's going through the plan so even though it was due October 5th, I want you to pay it to the trustee in 30 days when the trustee tells you to pay it. And you're like wait a minute that makes no sense. You're right. You're changing everything around. That's the beauty of chapter 13. You throw it all into the basket, shake it up and you figure out where you want to put everything and then you make your payments according to what your plan says because you're really captaining the ship here. You're telling the creditors, here's how I'm going to pay you. And as long as it's in compliance with the bankruptcy code and rules, everything works out just fine. So really you're telling the trustee what's going to be done, you're telling the court how you're going to deal with it, and you're telling your creditors, this is what I want to do to reorganize myself. So it works out, but sometimes the payment dates change. Now that's hard with people who are on auto debit, on a car payment or maybe you know you have your house being paid twice a month to try to save some money on interest everything changes so it's kind of scary for a lot of people and at the same time some people embrace it and say you know this is really where I need to be and so it's really interesting